This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review with your college basketball play of the day for Monday, January the 30th. We are going to go to one of the Big 12 matchups on ESPN tonight. For our play of the day, we're going to look at Oklahoma State taking on Oklahoma, the Battle of Bedlam basketball style uh, in Big 12 action. 9 p.m. Eastern tip-off on ESPN, 6 p.m. Pacific. We've got Oklahoma State, a two-point road favorite with a total of 163.5 in this game. Hey, listen, I'm not scared to admit when I win, when I lose, and I'm not scared to admit that, hey, I had Oklahoma in pocket for some for a wager on Saturday uh, against Florida at home, and it was just a dead wrong side. Never had a chance once that game uh, reached the first, got past the first 10 minutes or so of the first half. Florida took control, uh, and they just never looked back. Florida just absolutely romping Oklahoma, 84 to 52 in Norman uh, on Saturday as part of that uh, Big 12 SEC challenge that took place, and wow. Just a dismal day for Oklahoma, and definitely a, a team that I was actually thinking was turning a corner. Uh, two good, a win against West Virginia in overtime on the road. Since they got Jordan Woodard back, this team was really starting to play better basketball. Home loss to Iowa State, a game that could have gone either way. That one went to overtime as well. A game at Texas that they probably could and should have won. They couldn't close it out. Texas with a couple of miracle prayer three-point balls uh, in the final minute of that game to steal a victory from Oklahoma. Uh, and then this team was just out-hustled, out-played, out-shot, out-defended, out-everything in Saturday's game against Florida. Uh, it was just ugly. I mean, Florida shot 42% for that game. You look at the rebounding battle, 46-39 to 39 in favor of uh, Florida, plus 7 on the boards. Look at the shooting day, though, for Oklahoma. And this is something that I think is a key handicap for me. When I see a team that has a, just an absolutely dreadful shooting performance in one game, I like to bet, bet those teams the next game, bet on them. Because usually there's a re return to the mean uh, a little bit. And I think we might see that from Oklahoma. Look, Oklahoma is a better, much better shooting team, a much better offensive team than 18 of 64 for 28% shooting from the field, which is their statistics as a team against Florida on Saturday. One for 15, six 0.7% from three-point range, one of 15. You know, Oklahoma is a much better shooting team normally than that. Now, you credit the Florida defense a little bit. You have to. You have to give Florida's defense some credit. I mean, they can. They're, deep, they're a solid defensive team. But for the season, Oklahoma is shooting 43%, 36% from three-point range, 75 points per game. Uh, basically, this is a decent shooting team. It's a good shooting team, Oklahoma. So for them to have that kind of bad performance shooting the basketball, I think they are going to have a much better performance in that regard. Usually when a team has one of those outlier, just dismal shooting efforts, you see a much better performance next game. I think we could see that from Oklahoma. I do have a small bit of concern here about Jordan Woodard's health. He has been battling an illness uh, the last uh, few days. It's probably a big reason why he really struggled. He didn't seem to bring a ton of energy to the court Saturday uh, against uh, Florida. Uh, his numbers weren't good. He didn't make a shot. If he only played 14 minutes. He wasn't feeling well. 0 for 7. Uh, not a single point for Jordan Woodard in that game. Uh, and three turnovers. I mean, that's as bad a stat line as you could ask, especially from a guy that is supposed to be the leader uh, and the best player on this Oklahoma team, the most experienced player on this Oklahoma team. Uh, for him to have you know, 14 minutes, 0 for 7, no points and three turnovers. God, that's 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 awful. That's as bad as it gets in terms of a stat line. Holy goodness. Uh, but to me, you may want to do some digging here in terms of just where his health situation is. How good is he feeling going into this game tonight? But Jordan Woodard's a prideful player, plays you know hard every night. You know I think he's going to want to bounce back. If he's good enough to go tonight, he's obviously going to be thinking that he's good enough to produce and play at a decent level. So if he is in the in the in the lineup tonight in that starting five rotation for Lon Kruger's team tonight, uh, I would expect Jordan Woodard to have a much better performance. And this Oklahoma State team, I know they're on the upswing right now. 3-0 oh, uh, straight up, 3-0 and oh against the spread their last three games. But home win against TCU, have not been good on the road. Uh, road win at Texas Tech, not one of the better teams in the conference. And then they romped against Arkansas. And the concern that I have here is that everything came easy for Oklahoma State. 33 of 66, 50% shooting, 45%, 9 of 20 from the perimeter. Uh, it was just one of those games where they, they played almost a perfect game. They absolutely killed, crushed, crushed 
Arkansas on the glass, plus 17 rebounding margin, 40 to 23 rebounds in favor of Oklahoma State in that blowout win against Arkansas uh, on Saturday. Uh, but usually when a team plays, that that's pretty close to, you know, the outboard Arkansas, plus 17, shoot the ball 50%. Those are scary performances, especially when you want to go on that team in the next game, because usually you see them come back down to earth after such a uh, way up there shooting performance like what Oklahoma State had uh, in that win against Arkansas. And I think it could happen here. Let's not forget Oklahoma State in terms of success on the road this season haven't exactly had a boatload of it. Yeah, they have the ro- the road win against Texas Tech recently, but they lost at Kansas, they lost at Baylor, they lost at Texas. You know, they have they do have the road win at Wichita State before Christmas in non-conference play, uh, but they have only been a road favorite Oklahoma State twice this season. Twice, this will be their third time uh, as a road favorite for the uh, Cowboys. The other two times they were a road favorite, laying nine on the road at Tulsa, they win that game by four, 71-67, barely win it, and then at Texas, laying one point. They lose that game outright, 82-79. So they're 0-2 against the spread as road favorites this season. And I think Oklahoma has the coaching to get them back on track. I've always been a fan of Lon Kruger and the job he's done at Oklahoma. How about the job he did at UNLV? Okay, UNLV's been a complete uh, disgrace. Garbage dump since Lon Kruger left there. Had nothing going for them. Dave Rice didn't work. Uh, this Marvin Menzies coach that they've got right now, I don't think he might is the guy necessarily to turn that UNLV program around. Lon Kruger's the last guy that won at UNLV. So this guy knows what he's doing. And I think after that just horrendous performance uh, against Florida on Saturday, I think we do see something here. I, I'm willing to give Oklahoma another shot here uh, in this game. They've been a point spread money maker since Jordan Woodard got back. You look at their last uh, five games, uh, much better uh, in that regard. Uh, they're four and two against the spread their last six games. Uh, so they've been a much better point spread team lately. Oklahoma, and I do think you get them to step up with a much better effort here uh, in this game. So let's go ahead, let's make it official here, and go with Oklahoma plus two as a home underdog. Rotation number 526, the Oklahoma Sooners plus two uh, against Oklahoma State. I I may back my stance off Oklahoma if they don't have a good game here, but I'm willing to give them another shot uh, after that uh, tough, real bet, tough performance against Florida on Saturday, and I'm going to uh, recommend them here. Oklahoma, plus two, your play of the day in college basketball for Monday, January the 30th. Go to sbrodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbook. 